Coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Manned, Bristow and Electra work together for E-Stoll certification, and Embraer Eve brings Leeds collaboration in Rio for UAM, and NASA's Perseverance rover successfully cores its first rock. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Bristow and Electra work together for East Stoll certification. Bristow Group and Electra Arrow have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to pursue a joint development agreement and purchase agreement. The two firms will work together on the technical development, marketing, and certification of Electra's hybrid electric short takeoff and landing aircraft, seeking to collaborate on 50 aircraft. In addition to seeking certification with the FAA, EASA, and Transport Canada, the two companies also aim to focus on middle mile logistics. Just as Bristow pioneered the vertical transportation market some 70 plus years ago, this MOU sets the stage for early collaboration and development between Bristow and Electra for a new class of aircraft that will allow us to take advantage of the unique capabilities of electric and hybrid power generation technologies to lower carbon emissions and operating costs, said Bristow President and Chief Executive Officer Chris Bradshaw. As today's global leader in vertical lift, Bristow can leverage our operational expertise to help Electra design and build the next generation of aircraft that fully utilizes the e concept in existing and new end markets. Coming up after the break, drone camera films arsonists. Those details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Drone camera filmed Italian arsonist and he was arrested. A drone camera caught an arsonist in the act of starting a forest fire in Montesarcio, Italy, about 30 miles northeast of Naples. He is depicted in the video lighting the fire with a cigarette lighter before walking away. An unmanned suspect was arrested nearby and described by police as a 50-year-old sheep and goat farmer. Firefighters put the fire out the same day after it destroyed five acres of pasture and woods. Soon you'll be able to own your own mini version of the new Shepard model. You can now launch your own version of the Blue Origin New Shepard with the Estes New Shepard model rocket. The Estes New Shepard is a 166 scale model of the Blue Origin New Shepard. The model rocket flies to altitude on a C63 or C65 with capabilities of up to 400 feet. After deploying a capsule, it falls back to Earth with a large parachute. It will be available in November. 
High Point and Pia Secchi sign a $6.5 million deal. High Point will begin development of hydrogen fuel cell systems for the PA-890 aircraft. Pia Secchi has been working with High Point since March of this year, but the processes have now been formalized into a multi-phase collaborative development agreement that will finish with the creation of five 650 kilowatt hydrogen fuel cell systems to use in the PA-890 compound helicopter. Scottsdale Fire Department uses drone to service gas leak. Over the weekend in Scottsdale, Arizona, a drone was used by the Scottsdale Fire Department to assist in the repair of a gas leak. Firefighters said the leak was making a jet engine sound noise and was identified as a six inch main that had been torn into pieces. The use of the drone was key in keeping firefighters safe during the event. The drone footage made it easier for firefighters to find the safest entry points as well. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Embraer Eve brings Leeds collaboration in Rio for UAM. Embraer's Eve Urban Mobility is working alongside its partners and the government to develop new concepts for urban air mobility taking place in Rio de Janeiro. Eve will lead a work group that forms an impressive collaboration with big goals for UAM in Brazil. The data gathered hopes to guide operations of the future of UAM. Two major players in Brazil are coordinating with Eve, Brazil's National Civil Aviation Agency and Brazil's Department of Airspace Control. Together, they will work with existing infrastructure and air traffic management to enable UAM through development and upcoming technology. The heavy lifting collaboration also includes partners such as Helisum Aviation, one of the largest helicopters operations in Latin America, Skyport, a company that designs, builds, and operates vertiports, Flapper, a platform for on-demand flights, and EDP, a large energy company. The goal of working together is to safely introduce and accelerate the UAM market's growth in Brazil. Support will come from Rio, Galeão, and Brazilian Association of General Aviation. After the break, NASA's Perseverance rover successfully cores its first rock. More news after these messages. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. NASA's Perseverance rover successfully cores its first rock. Data received from September 1st from NASA's Perseverance rover indicate the team has achieved its goal of successfully coring a Mars rock. The initial images downlinked after the historic event show an intact sample present in the tube after coring. However, additional images taken after the uncompleted sample acquisition were inconclusive due to the poor sunlight conditions. Another round of images with better lighting will be taken before the sample processing continues. Obtaining additional imagery prior to proceeding with the sealing and storing of Mars rock sample is an extra step the team opted to include based on its experience with the rover sampling attempt on August 5th. Although the Perseverance mission team is confident 
that the sample is in the tube, images in optimal lighting conditions will confirm its presence. Perseverance Sampling and Catching System uses a rotary percussive drill and a hollow coring bit at the end of its seven foot long robotic arm to extract samples slightly thicker than a pencil. Within the bit during coring is a sample tube. After completing the most recent coring, Perseverance maneuvered the core bit and open end of the sample tube in order to be imaged by the rover's mass cam Z instrument. The target for the sample collection attempt was a brief case size rock belonging to a ridgeline. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.